I'm a tag hoyer. Five years ago, I stood in this spot in Hercules Harbour in Monaco. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's amazing. The light's great, it's all good. But I was just debating between two Monacos, the Calibre 11 and the Calibre 12. And the video was about which model is right for you. Well, now there's a new dilemma. Because I just released the Dark Lord. Awesome, this video is about which of these Monacos is right for you and whether I can justify both. And also, bonus points. Is double wristing ever okay? How are you, man? Aussie, 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 Aussie. Aussie, Aussie oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Is it ever okay to wear two watches? Absolutely. It is. What's the first thing that enters your mind when you see a man wearing two watches? Um, that probably you got one gifted today. <laughs> he knows. How do you know that? <laughs> but if I told you, you could take one and run, which one do you take out of these two? Well, I already have this one, so I'll take this one. Okay. That was settled quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Dempsey. Hey, what's happening, man? Good to Patrick see you. Patrick Dempsey, what the hell? Is it ever okay for a man to wear two watches at once? Yes, it is, and I'll tell you why. Oh, good. If, like, if you have your, your families at home, you're in Europe, or you're around the world, it lets you know in real time what's going on over there, as well as being present here. That's just, let's just cut. Okay, done. We're, we're, we're done. We're see done. Good okay, night. I gotta go, everybody. That's very <laughs> with, with these both on my wrist, as you see them right now, which one are you taking? Uh, well, I have to tell you, the, the new watch, the Dark Lord, has a lightness to it that is really beautiful. The titanium. Yeah, but once again, I need two watches to, to find out what's going on back home, so I can't just choose one. Sit on the fence, man. Come on. <laughs> I'll take this one. Thank okay, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, you've seen my wrists, but I've got to ask you this question. Is it ever okay to wear two watches at once? No, what's best I like is wearing two Monaco's. <laughs> it's like a hardcore fan. It's a true C. <laughs> and the two comment. most iconic. I know. And <laughs> Steve McQueen and the Dark Lord. Where do you land today? Which is you? This one. Man, another. We just <laughs> launched it. You know, it's always the latest watch that we, we, we launch. But this one is, is going to stay. Yeah. It's here to stay. Sir, your boat is ready. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, your boat is ready. It only happens when you're double wristing Monaco. Man, yes. captain, my captain. When you see a man with two watches, do you think that's my man? I think he would be on time for my uh, <laughs> rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Excellent. we have no excuses. Exactly. Which of these, if I said you could take one off my wrist, which one are you taking? I'll take the black one. The black one. Okay. Marcus is right. Yo, it is on. About to jump off and do a hot lap in a Porsche. It's freaking hot. Speaking of hot, it's proper hot. Yes. Has anybody ever soiled themselves? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I have a question for you. Okay, fire away. If you meet a man wearing two watches, what's the first thing you think? Or a woman? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. Just look up there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what is that? Don't you to keep Dad out of shot. Which one's more you out of these two? This one. Why? It just stands out more to me. I like the, the sparky bits. The rose gold? There's rose gold in it. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Here we go. Hard rock. Let's go, 200k, come on, fast, fast. Can we go again? Okay, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it fast enough? It's like me making love, very short, very intense. <laughs> Strangely enough, after 200 kilometer speeds on a track with no straights, I'm really hungry. Okay, up the stairs. Oh, wow. And premium position, right over the pit lanes. When I do this, and you see a man wearing two watches, what's your first thought? Why? <laughs> Usually why, if the answer's good, if the answer's good, that's fine. If he doesn't have an answer. So my answer to that would be, we're in Monaco, and I just really, really want to remind myself of that. Good answer. You can only have one. Tell me which one and why. This one. Why? Because I'm a black yes, DLC wow. kind of guy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Mr. Waco. Mr. Andrew McCutcheon, how, how are you, sir? Right? Oh, great pleasure to see you. It is. Now, look, 
what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see a man rocking two watches? He asks to the man watching two watches. <laughs> two watches. I think it's a man with great confidence, a guy with amazing style, a guy who's a beautiful example of a human being just like yourself. Thank you very much. If you could only pick one of these two, which one are you taking? Well, you know, I love the original configuration, you know, uh, 69, and then you've got something we're in the 70s as well. I gotta say, the watch of the moment is a dark lore, dude, and you work very well, Andrew. Thank you. Now, look, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see someone double wristing? What, what, what's your stance on that? Me, I always feel like, it, it depends on the individual. Me, when I do it, it's always because I know I'm gonna meet someone or a group of people and I have more than one watch that I want to share stories about. Oh, nice. Right? So it's like, you know, sometimes I might wear like a very cool vintage piece along with a modern piece. Um, so it's, for me, it's, it's, that's the reason, right? It's, there's no practical reason to do it, right? There's yeah. not really, in, in 2022, it's not really a practical <laughs> reason even to wear a watch. You have your iPhone and it's updating to the right time all the time. But, you know, these things are more pieces of art. They're more things to be appreciated from an emotional point of view or, you know, historical points of view, you know, so I th for me, that's what I think and what yeah. I see. Which one are you taking? I mean, right. tough choice. I don't know. Can I, can I veto? I pick the fifth. No, oh, 100%. Shit. You got to choose one quick. I, you know, I go for the dark mode. I, I always like this. <laughs> I'm choosing the classic. <laughs>